Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's going to be on how to change Chrome performance settings. Last week, we went over how to change side button settings for, on a Samsung. I've been going, I've been doing a lot of videos on Samsung and Android devices. So if you want to check those out, I'll make sure the links down below for that one so you can check it out. But on this time, I wanted to jump over to the Chrome browser and show you how you can speed it up give it a little bit more kick instead of having it lag on you all the time i'm going to show you how to do that with the chrome performance settings it has i know you probably didn't know it had that but it does and i'm going to show you how that works in this video but before we get going hit the like on the video it really helps out our channel also the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos i come out with every thursday i haven't missed one in a long long time so i'm going to call it 100 percent so i'm going to show you how to do that here so might as well get started the first thing we want to do is go up to, basically, if you're on your Chrome browser, this is going to be blatantly in front of your face. You're going to look to the top right, and you're going to see the three dots next to your profile image, and you're going to click on that, and it's going to bring up the side menu. In the side menu, you're looking for settings, and that's down here at the very bottom of the menu. Click on that, and then now you're going to be in your settings for your Chrome browser. Look to the left to the main menus and go down to performance pretty straightforward on that one this is where it gets a little more crazy so this is the play this is the page of the screen that's going to show you how you can actually speed up and make the performance of your chrome browser better the top one is just general and i really don't think this does any help help you at all so we're just going to skip over the top one we're going to go to the one i think is the one of the most important memory so when you're on memory it's um, chrome frees up memory from in inactive tabs. This gives active tabs and other t apps more computer resources and keeps Chrome fast. Your inactive tabs automatically become active again when you go back to them. You can learn more about that right here if you want to click on it, but then make sure this switch is turned on. When the switch is off, it doesn't show you anything, but if the switch is on, it turns it on and they give you three choices on how to set it. You can have moderate, get moderate memory savings. Um, your tabs become inactive after a longer period of time. I keep it on balanced, which is recommended. They always recommend the middle one. Um, get balanced memory savings. Um, your tabs become inactive after an optimal period of time. Then you can, if you really want to get really into it, you can go maximum, get maximum memory savings. Your tabs, become inactive after a shorter period of time this might be really fast i guess that would be fine if you don't use the tabs that you know that quickly i like to keep it balanced so make sure this is turned on and choose the one that works best for you and that will really help out with the lagging and the speed of your google chrome browser now then another few features they give you is the the power energy one i'm not worried about that the one that actually i think really helps out also with memory is speed so we have preload pages. Now this is a big one here. I, I think it's a big one. Chrome preloads pages, which makes browsing and searching faster. And that's true. It will. And you can learn more about it there, but you can choose, turn the switch on. If it's off, it's not going to be on. So you're going to turn it on and then you're going to look and you can have extended preloading. More pages are preloaded. So that gives you a lot more pages that are preloaded. So they show up faster. Um, standard preloading some of the pages you visit are preloaded that's the one I use uh, if you click this little arrow next to them it gives you more of a detail of what they're doing so when on brow browsing and searching is faster than standard preloading um, Chrome preloads even more pages that you're likely to visit so that's so that makes sense they're gonna preload the ones they know you go to more often uh, things to consider you can read that there um, then push it down the bottom one which is the one I chose is this one and this browsing and searching is faster and I agree it is the standard but extended preloading I don't know I don't know which one's quicker I think this is quicker so I use it um, things to consider if you allow cookies Chrome may use them when preloading so that is the performance settings inside your Google Chrome browse browser which you can adjust but I say First, memory, I think is very important. Turn that one on. And then definitely the preloading pages one is a great one to have. Um, that's, that's it. That's how easy it is to um, change the Chrome performance settings and speed up that browser for you. So like I said, hope it works for you. I mean, you might get in there and it might not work for you. I think it will. It works for most people, in my opinion. But that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. 
And um, I'll make sure to have links down below for the article on this because I always write an article before I put a video out. And I'll put a link down below to give you some more um, Google Chrome and Google um, videos I've done. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.